18.3 is going to be 14 minutes of a lot of jumping. Make sure you double knot your shoes. That's very important. Double knot your shoes. Make sure that you get everything that you need to get loosened up because you're going to use it for a long time. All right, guys, week three of the All In CrossFit podcast. I'm sitting here with my man, Jared Litton. Jared's normally behind the camera, but you know, spring break, we got a light, light crowd, so we figured we'd let him get some face time this week. Yeah, Jim's dwindling down a little bit. <laughs> Everybody's out of town celebrating, having a little time off, but the show must go on. So we're here with Jared. We're just going to try to update everybody as what's going on with the Open so far. We've had three workouts. Four, if you're counting on the uh, on the leaderboard, but three workouts, two more weeks to go. The blue team, I can't believe that Jared's on the blue team, but the blue team seems to be almost running away with it. We're up there pretty high. Yes. We are up there. So many points ahead. And it's then, pretty, much, pretty much it's a fight for second, third, and fourth. I think, yeah, you're right, because right now, orange is in second, third is, is green, that's my team, and red one point behind us. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be tight. What do you think is the is the difference maker for blue right now? Because I mean, participation, participation. Because everybody's taking the judges' course now. The way to score, showing up on Thursday, coming to the Thursday night throwdown, watching everybody go right after the announcement, and then getting your workout in. I mean, I was looking at it and I thought that my team was pretty stacked to start out with. But, I mean, it's not coming down to, to podium finishes or the not number of people. It's participation. We've it's got, all... I think every week we've had uh, complete participation week one, week two. I think we missed one person, and this week we missed one person. So, we've got everybody going. Yeah. So, the secret, I mean, I th basically the secret to winning the All-In Open is, is the same secret to, to anything in life. Just show up. Show up, man. Consistency. Participate. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I don't like it. I don't like it because blue team is captained by my wife. She, I have to hear about it almost <laughs> every day. She keeps us on her toes. God. She even lets us know. She'll tag us on our Facebook page if you don't participate. That's how you get it. So would you say that she's kind of bullying y'all? No, she's not bullying us. Not me. I, I get mine out. In, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> speaking of which, she's about to walk in. Oh, man. Let me stop talking about this. So <laughs> blue team is out in front. Everybody's trying to catch up. Smooth segue right there. Blue team's out in front. Everyone's trying to catch up. What do you? What's been your most? Um, what's been the most exciting thing you've seen from the Open so far? Exciting. I would say probably just coming in and seeing everybody do the Open workout and cheer each other on. I know that this week was tough. There was a huge difference between RX and scale, mm -hmm. but we still had a lot of folks that would get it, get after the double unders, get after the overhead squat, and try and get a good score, good tiebreaker time because the rings came up first yeah. um, in this workout, which is it's a tough movement, it's a technical movement. And I think that's probably one of the first times we've seen something so technical in the open, rings and bar muscle-ups all in the same, yeah, I, all in the same workout. But, you know, with everybody showing up, and even the folks that had to, had to scale this week, that was a, it was a fun workout because it's 14 minutes, it flies by. I mean, everybody's really just getting after it once, once they come in. Yeah, so the community aspect of it. Yeah, that's, and, I think that's one of the benefits of, of this gym itself is the community. You know, even if you're, uh, for me, like days that I don't want to come to the gym, like I may be sore, tired from work, you know, whatever it is, like being able to come here with friends and, you know, everybody else that's doing the same workout to be able to push through. A lot of days, that's what helps me get, get through the workouts is, you know, having somebody beside me doing the exact same thing yeah. as opposed to, you know, just isolating yourself, trying to, you know, just, you know, make it through this workout, you know, whatever it may be. But mm. that's, I think that would be what's most exciting for me. And it's that way every year for the Open here. Yeah. You know, just the community aspect, everybody participating, everybody cheering. And you really see it on Thursday nights when the gym is packed, everyone's here, you know, everybody that's doing the workout that night just find, finds out what it is. They don't really have a chance to come up with a plan. And so they just really just get after it. Yeah. 
I think I think that's um because this is what your second open, right? Yeah, this is my second one. Second open yeah. total and your second mm-hmm. at all in. So yeah. you've done every open here with us. Yep. I think for me it is this the community aspect because you get you know day in and day out people come in they look at the workout on the board and like all right well this is what I'm gonna do this is how I'm gonna do this workout but yep. then when it comes to the open. You know, you get, as soon as the workout's announced, everybody's talking to everybody yeah. like, man, what's the strategy for this? Yeah, how are you yeah. going to break this up? Yeah. And I think that it's just free. It doesn't, I, I think it like just takes it up a notch. Yeah, well, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, because even if it's something like this week, tough workout, not everybody's going to be able to RX. Week two, every, just I think the majority of the people were able to do the workout RX. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing that would limit would be the a heavier dumbbell for some of the athletes, but you move into something now, it's more technical movement, but everyone still has the same mindset coming yeah. in. Even if you have to scale, you know, you still have everyone that you're going to be talking to, trying to find out, you know, game plan, what should I do here? Should I just blow through and get a good tie break time and then attempt ring muscle ups, right. you know, or should I scale it down? And even, you know, looking at this workout, there was a, a workout a couple of years back that started out with ring muscle ups mm-hmm. that a lot of people had to do scale because they didn't have the muscle up yet. And I looking at that, the scaled version scared me. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was like, man, because it was the scaled version was just wall balls and single unders. And I was like, they're gonna get a lot of reps done. Yeah. In that time, and I've I've told several people that at some point I'm gonna do eighteen point three. I'm gonna do the scaled version because it just looks mm-hmm. like a tough so workout. A lot of people were saying this week. I mean, you're literally working the entire way through the fourteen minutes. Yeah. We had several several of the guys finish between what, like eleven to thirteen, mm-hmm. and they were literally moving the entire time. Yeah. Like you know, judging those guys, they didn't want to stop one because they wanted to finish. Um, and that's eight hundred singles. I mean, that's <laughs> a lot of pull ups. You got to do the dumbbell snatches anyway. So mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's a good workout just yeah. as itself. Yeah. And that's I saw that's one of the conversations I have with people sometimes. You know, they're, they're, they don't want to go scale because yeah. they don't think it's going to be a that good of a workout. Yeah. But in some, most cases, I mean, like the ability to have to, well, to have the opportunity to just keep moving oh, yeah. makes it a tougher workout. It does. Because there's yeah. no, nowhere for you to hide. And there's no breaks. Yeah. There's no breaks. Everything's fatigue. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're going to be burnt by the time you come to those last few pull-ups. You're going to be burning from the double unders. Right. I mean, no matter whether you're doing singles or doubles. Yeah. It's where, a good workout. Where with the, with the, uh, the RX workout, you know, you would have to take a break before oh, yeah. you hit your ring muscle ups mm-hmm. or the bar muscle ups, just yeah. because if you don't, you might miss one. Of them. Absolutely. But with the scaled one, it was just put your foot on the gas and go. Yeah. And that whew, makes it a lot tougher. Yeah. I'm actually kind of nervous about doing that one. We'll but, have to do that. Uh, we'll have to do that in open gym once it opens over. Oh yeah. I don't want to go through that until <laughs> it opens over. Yeah. Let it give it some time. Yeah. We'll give it some time. All right. So that was the most the community aspect, the most exciting part. For sure. there, looking forward, going forward to these next two workouts, do you think we're going to either continue to see new movements, or do you think there's going to be a repeat of a of a workout? I think, you know, every year there's been a repeat. Mm-hmm. Obviously not the first year, but there's been a repeat or a retest every year, so I don't know if that's going to come up this week or next, but I would, I've, I've been thinking this entire time that he's going to throw handstand walks or something in there. Uh, another extremely technical movement that may even dwindle the pack even more that can't do RX. But this week may have done that in itself with the ring and bar. So I still think that we may see a repeat. I just don't know what it would be. I would think that we'd have deadlifts this week. Yeah. Deadlifts, handstand push-ups. I mean, it, otherwise are we just going to abandon those for the open? I, I don't think so. And then usually week five has been some type of thruster. So does he throw in dumbbell thrusters? I mean, that would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> thrusters are bad, I bad mean, enough. Board line thrusters, that, would, that would hurt. Yeah. I'm, you know, I would like to say that, that I, would, I would hope just for a, from the aspect of being an affiliate owner that the handstand walk would not be in there. Right, yeah. Just that, because that would just eliminate yeah. so many people from even even like the idea of doing a workout art. Yeah, and, and how do you scale that? You do You scale it with... Wall yeah, I mean, like, do you do wall walks? So you do, yeah, but I mean, or do you do regular push-ups? Yeah, and that—that's a nightmare for judging. Yeah, because there was only there was one year, 2012. There were regular push-ups in the uh, in the open, and it was a, a nightmare to judge mm-hmm. whether people were leaving their hips on the floor while right. they pushed up with their arms, yeah. if their arms actually got the full extension while their hips were up. So, hopefully, that wouldn't be the case, just because it's a, it's just a nightmare oh, to judge. Oh, for sure. And we, uh, we already have that talked about yeah. standards here and at different places. So yeah. you don't want to 
you just opening up a box of a can of worms yeah. with that movement. But definitely, I'm sure we'll see the thrusters come back because, yeah. like you said, every year. Every year. And it's been the last one, hasn't it? Yeah, the last workout the last every workout. year. Just you may throw a wrench in it and have it this week. Devastating. It's been devastating thrusters. Yeah, because, I mean, this year has been a little unorthodox with all the all the new movements. I mean, are we going to see dumbbells again? I don't know. And, I, you know, in most years, you've always – kind of sort of have been able to predict the workout based yeah. on which CrossFit Games athletes were doing the announcement. But that hasn't been the case this year. I just knew, you know, I would have picked Kyle Casper by our Neil Maddox to be doing um, the burpee, the dumbbell squat burpee workout with mm-hmm. the max cleans because both those guys are really strong. Really strong, get the show off. Yeah. But, yeah. but I mean, he's even been, they've been throwing us off with that too. And so this week's Scott Panchik Scott and Scott Panchik and, yeah, but on Goodness. Yeah, so. Yeah, Bjorn Goodness. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean. Who knows, man? Who knows? I wouldn't think that you'd have those guys doing a deadlift workout, but I mean, you never know. <laughs> it, it might be. <laughs> you never know. And then the last weekend is all the daughters, so with Annie, Sarah, and yeah. uh, Katrin. Yeah, up in Iceland. Yeah. So I mean, I think that was just going to be terrible because their work capacity is through the roof. And just get to show off. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Mm. And the we more, get to suffer. The more they show off, yeah, the more <laughs> I suffer. <laughs> well, let's let's change. Uh, Let's just go down a different path. Right here. We've been talking about CrossFit, CrossFit, CrossFit. But we've got a big group of people doing a Spartan race in, in April. I think we're up to 20 people right now with that. It's April 14th over in Fort Benning, the Spartan Sprint. And I, I think, you know, I did one the one back in October, and it was my first one. It happened to be a super, so it was super long. It hurt. It was painful for the big guy. But I think it was, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, right now we're in the running for, uh, to have the top team. There we go. Yeah, so I mean, are you are you doing this part now? I'm Have you signed, signed up? up? But I believe I'm going to. You're going to do yeah, it. I You're think, in. I think I'm going to. I've, I've wanted to do one for a long time, anyways. Yeah. And so, you know, we were talking about this before before we started. We've already got a huge group, so why not why not get in? This is a chance. Yeah. Open's going to be over with. Opens over. Yeah, no yeah. excuse, right? Opens no excuse. over. It's after a day. Everybody's doing it, and I mean, even now, you jump in and go ahead and just get a shirt to Drew Burke off. He's yeah, going to print yeah. it up. A little special print for us here. So. I think that everyone watching this podcast and everyone, everybody, everybody in the gym, everybody watching the podcast should sign up for the yeah. all-in team. Let's do it. Let's get top team, have a big tent out there. They give us all kinds of free refreshments and uh, just have a good time running yeah. some mud, getting dirty. I'm in, man. <laughs> Obstacles running. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. So that was it. You have anything you want, anything you want to say? Everybody that's watching, be sure to click below, like, and subscribe to the podcast. That way you can get notified for every time we post. We'll continue to post on the Facebook page, our community page. Be sure to just click below and subscribe so that you get the notification. Yeah, and make sure that you share this podcast. Yeah, share it. Not only share it, share it on Facebook. I know just about everybody here, if, if you're clicking the link through Facebook, share it with your friends. Get this out. Let everybody see how much fun we're having here at All In. Invite friends to come join in on the workouts. You know, we've got a lot. We've had several folks sign up or at least come to uh, drop in the last mm-hmm. couple of weeks. So oh, yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. And I'm, exciting I, really, I really want people to share this podcast, too, because this, this may be one of the few times they see your face. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be behind the camera. <laughs> Pulling teeth to get this man in front of the camera. So, like, take, it, take advantage of it, guys. Jared's a great dude. Got this podcast rolling for us with all the technical part aspects of it. Allow me just to get up here in front of the microphone. So fist bump for that. Yeah, man. So that's a wrap on 18.3, episode three also. Brought to us by our main man, Mr. John Lentz. If you've got any financial questions and or anything to do with your finances, this man can be he'll be he'll be more than welcome to uh, to help you and guide you along that path. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.